Okay, now everybody loves camping out and enjoying the peace and tranquility that nature offers. Well, the South Korean company Sky Camp has taken this idea to its ultimate conclusion. What if you could create a large, hard shell tent that you can take with you wherever you go? The idea has proven to be so intriguing that the brand has raised 2.3 million USD, making it the most successful tent project in Kickstarter history. Wow, seems like a whole lot of people want to get away from the urban centers. I won't be surprised if most of them are New Yorkers. Sky Camp has developed the iCamper Sky Camp, and it currently has the honor of being the world's largest expandable hard shell rooftop tent. Part of the reason why this design is so loved is because it is both aerodynamic and lightweight, but it's also large enough to accommodate two adults and two children, or three adults. So essentially, you can go camping with your entire family in a manner that's both convenient and easy to carry. What's even better is that the tent comes with a king-size mattress, which is made of memory foam and is built with a sky view window, which lets you gaze up at the stars as you drift off asleep. The iCamper Sky Camp rooftop tent is made of poly cotton canvas, which is water resistant, breathable, UV resistant, fire retardant, and long lasting. There's a 150D waterproof rain fly, while the floor is made of insulating honeycomb aluminum panels. It's both easy to install, tough enough to stand up against high speed winds, and weighs just 155 pounds. As amazing as this all seems, the iCamper has a few disadvantages. The most important of which is the fact that it's really tricky to install and has a hard speed limit of 70 miles per hour on the highway. The last issue that I have with the iCamper is probably only because I'm a broke bitch and it's available for sale at prices from 3,600 USD and up. And I don't have that kind of money right now. <laughs> The greatest thing about owning a supercar is the fact that you get to feel different than the regular Joes with their regular cars. Most supercars have their own unique door opening and closing system to remind you of this fact and to separate themselves from the competition. Supercar manufacturer Resvani heard about that, took it personally, and said, hold my beer, and then went on to create the most, one of the best recognizable and unique vehicle doors in history. The Beast Alpha features two brand new Sidewinder doors that are the first truly unique car door designs in the past 40 years. How do they look? Well, the Sidewinder doors are featured in the Resvani Beast Alpha Supercar. The name's derived from the fact that the doors remain parallel to the body as they are moved outwards. Each of the car's two doors are mounted on a sliding hinge and functions much like a minivan's main door, albeit moving forward instead of in reverse. Trademark Sidewinder doors provide a unique experience unlike any other, even more available room when entering and exiting and a design that's sure to turn some heads in the process. So for the price of just 200,000 USD, you get an absolute beast of a machine that is powered by a 2.4 liter Honda racing engine, which is pushing out 500 horsepower with an overall weight at just 1,950 pounds, 884 kilograms. It enables it to sprint from zero to 60 in just 3.2 seconds and goes to its max speed of 175 miles per hour. Is that a great deal? Well, you decide. The Alfa Romeo is a car that always stands up from the crowd, and one of the most obvious reasons for that distinct flavor is the way the door looks. We all know that the Alfa Romeo prizes balance above all else, and that their design represents the constant battle between sensuous beauty and technology, or emotion versus logic. Well, we can say that the winner of that battle is style because Bertona had produced a 100th birthday present for Alfa Romeo. But it trod a very different path despite Zagato's rivaled Italian design house having a back catalog chock full of Alfa collaborations dating back to the 1950s and instead looked to the future with the Pandion. Taking its title from the scientific name for the Osprey and also taking design inspiration from Birds of Prey, the Pantheon was first shown to the world at the 2010 Geneva Motor Show. From the gloss white lattice work that flowed through the car's internal spine to the festooning of crisscrossing blades in the back, the Pantheon was awash with the strange and brilliant details. 
Hinging at the rear of the car and stretching all the way along its length, front wings and all, the doors opened at a 90-degree angle and stretched 3.6 meters in the air. It's not a car for your average multi-story, in other words. Once open for view, the observer is treated to an interior enchantingly swimming in ghostly blue light, admittedly a feature designed to raise the car's wow factor. This design is in fact that perfect blend of aesthetics and technical prowess which Alfa Romeo believes in. With a whole load of carbon fiber used in its construction and no need to worry about road legality, the Pandion ended up being a lightweight car, weighing just 1,258 kilograms, 0 to 62 miles per hour happened in just under 4 seconds, and its top speed is around 200 miles per hour. The concept was fully functional and actually passed into private ownership. It most recently changed hands at an auction in Milan in 2018 for 570,000 euros. I actually won't blame you if you haven't heard about the Holden Hurricane. Built as a concept vehicle by Holden in 1969, the Holden Hurricane was one of the most advanced vehicles for its time, with Holden describing it as a research vehicle, allowing them to study design trends, propulsion systems, and other long-range developments. Although it was abandoned for some time, the Hurricane has been resurrected to give a modern flair. Some of the more interesting features of the Hurricane include the fact that it didn't have doors. Yep, you heard that right. The Hurricane had a canopy that rose on hydraulic struts. The cabin was accessed by a hydraulically operated canopy top, which opened over the front wheels. This also known as hydraulic opening one-piece clamshell roof canopy, the roof door mechanism is like a sophisticated attack aircraft. The concept's body has been made from fiberglass and consists of three segments – the canopy, the engine hood, and body shell. Codenamed RD001, the Holden Hurricane is a mid-engined rear-wheel drive, two-seater sports car, which incorporates a remarkable array of innovative features and technology, much of it way ahead of its time. The modern iteration of the Hurricane features electronic digital instrument displays, station-seeking radio, a GPS system, automatic temperature control, air conditioning, rear vision camera, and an automated route finder were all showcased in this groundbreaking vehicle 42 years ago. With all that said, one of the most striking things about the vehicle is definitely the doors, or lack thereof. And that's why it made its way onto our list. Although Ford isn't particularly known for its innovation or luxury, but all the same when Ford executives wanted to make their product stand out from the crowd, they knew they had to do something different. The Ford Evos was released as a concept car in 2011, and it immediately stood out in everyone's memory because of its four doors that reached into the sky like goalkeepers after a Ronaldo free kick. <laughs> The bespoke four-door coupe has a menacing appearance with a bulging hood, LED headlights, and an Aston Martin-like grille. Once passengers open the doors, they're treated to a futuristic cabin, which has premium materials and a cloud-based computing system that could be described as sync on steroids. Known as gullwing doors, they're hinged at the forward-most point of the car's top and just behind the hood below the windshield. Apart from the strikingly sexy body and gullwing style front and rear doors, makes technology the focus. With features like a heart rate monitoring seat, allergy-free interior, and the ability to communicate with the cloud and other wireless devices. Sadly, the Evos may never go into production, and we may never be able to experience the glory of four gullwing doors reaching simultaneously for the sky. The name regera is a Swedish verb meaning to reign or to rule. Much like the name the Koenigsegg, regera is truly the king of all luxury vehicles, so much so that the Koenigsegg planned to produce only 80 units of the car, all of which have been sold. 
The Regera also features Koenigsegg's auto scan feature that allows the driver to open both doors, front hood and rear hood, remotely with the key fob or from inside the car with the auto skin buttons on the center console. Simply, this feature is known as auto skin and allows the driver to open and close all doors using a remote control. The Regera is a two-door Targa top with a detachable roof that can be stowed in the boot. All openings and wing mirrors are fitted with proximity sensors to safeguard against the doors, striking nearby objects while opening or closing. The vehicle features hydraulic pumps and accumulators to control the active front and rear wings, as well as active chassis control and lifting. Taking everyone by surprise, Kionisig announced that the Regera features an impressive 800-volt 4.5-kilowatt liquid-cooled battery pack. The super-limited Kionisig Regera is a 1,500-horsepower hypercar beast, too. Kionisig has yet to reveal pricing for the Regera, but an announcement posted by the company's UK dealer on German car buying site Mobile.de suggests the supercar will cost 2.1 million euros in Europe, which translates to around 2.1 million dollars in the United States. The sticker price would make it significantly more expensive than most of its competitors. The car does speed over 400 kilometers an hour, and just 80 Regeras have been sold worldwide. If you're even the least bit interested in cars, the BMW Isetta is a vehicle that should be immediately recognizable. Originally designed and produced by Italian motor scooter company Esso Rivolta Spa in the 1950s, its characteristic bubble-like windows and egg-shaped design soon earned this two-seater the nickname Bubble Car. What you may not know is that the Isetta was the first micro ever made, and with its small motorcycle engine, it also gained some clout as the world's best city car. In defiance of car design norms at the time, the design of the Isetta features a single point of entry at the front of the car, which with the steering column was hinged and swung out together with the door, to which it was connected by a steel bar. It looks a bit weird at first, but it quickly grows on you and becomes one of the most attractive features of the vehicle. It's powered by a 236cc two-cylinder two-stroke engine with 7.1 kilowatts, has enough space to accommodate two people on sort of a small sofa, and has a top speed of 75 kilometers an hour or 47 miles per hour. Thanks to its monocoque design and small size, the Isetta weighed less than 500 kilograms. Based on original design, a lot of iterations were sold and they were pretty popular. However, the only problem was that its price was too close to that of real automobiles with four seats. The Isetta wasn't a success in Italy because Italian cities hadn't at the time have a parking shortage problem like they have today. You know that Russ Henneman meme about car doors? Well, by that definition, this is a vehicle that is built for trillionaires. This concept, showcased on the black Lincoln Mark 8 model, features car doors that actually disappear when opened. I'm not even joking, it's like watching a David Blaine trick. What actually happens is that the door disappears into the underbelly of the car while the side mirrors remain in place when the door is opened, enabling continued observation of traffic from behind. So not only is it stylish, it's also safe. Although it seems like a cutting-edge invention, the idea of a disappearing car door has existed in some form since the early 1990s. And Jatek LLC seems determined to be the ones to bring this idea to fruition. Their idea of the disappearing door involves a complex system that enables easy access to the cars and gives passengers a quick and easy way out in the event of car accidents. Another possible advantage of this invention is the fact that it can be a quick way to gain access to your car in tight parking situations. Imagine if you left your car parked outside and some rude Karen had parked so closely against you that you couldn't get in to move your vehicle. Well, with the disappearing car door, you won't have that problem. The only issue I can think of would be the fact that you may be exposed to the elements because, you know, 
You don't have any doors? <laughs> Aside from that, the disappearing car door is a unique way to stand out from the crowd and impress even the people with super expensive cars with your own unique spin on a luxury toy.